Hi guys, I just recorded a review video on a plate. I think it was Cat's Ocean. I'm not even going to say the number because I already forgot. <laughs> forgot, but if you would like to know, um, just go back a video and I have all that information in that video um, about the plate. And today we're going to, or not today, but <laughs> in this video we're going to be reviewing another plate but I just wanted to quickly show you these were some of the images from uh, the plate that I was just playing around with so in the last video I swatched um, these images from a plate that I was reviewing so if you'd like to see that just go back a video and you'd you can go ahead and watch that, but let's go ahead and for today we are going to be reviewing a different brand of plate for today. Today we are going to be reviewing an Ejubas plate. So it's a collaboration, Ejubas and at, and I can't tell what that name is. But these are the images on the plate. If you know what that name is, please leave it down below. Lots of really, really cool images. Really interesting. And the thing that I really like about Ijuba's plates, I hope that I'm saying that correctly, is that they are double-sided. So this is what the other side looks like. Look at all these beautiful trees. I can't wait to stamp those. Really awesome flowers. I think that's a fox and maybe a deer. Some more flowers. Look at that pretty. I think this is a geode. I have I already have some really cool ideas. Look at all these cool images for some reverse stamping with this plate. So if you'd like to see that, then definitely stay tuned for that because I am Definitely getting some ideas just even looking at this plate. These trees are amazing. All right, let's peel this blue film off. If you don't know, you do have to peel the, peel the blue film off the stamping plate before you stamp with it. I'm going to start with this side first. I'm going to head and set that down there. I forgot that I made these swatch sticks the other day. I don't like the image on it, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that image so that we can, and that's why you're supposed to use a lint free wipe because I was just going to clean it quickly. I thought that maybe I didn't need it. Okay, there we go. Definitely use a lint free wipe. Okay, so our swatch stick is ready to go. Let's go ahead and pick up some images. The little planets are kind of really speaking to me. These little guys in here. So I think I'm going to try those out first. I think I'm going to try for this one here. Really gently with my scraper. You're not supposed to take that long. Didn't come out completely, so we're going to try that again. Clean off my stamper and let's try that again. Guys, if you do not have a cotton claw that looks just like this, you can always use a clothespin. And I tend to use the kind of clothespin idea <laughs> a lot, even though I have a cotton claw. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to 
fix my stamper here. I'm trying to get used to this stamper because this this stamper in particular kind of pops out sometimes. Like I'll go and pick up an image and sometimes, you know, uh, the stamp will kind of come out. And then there goes my image because, you know, it's ruined now. So let's go ahead and, excuse me, make sure that we are <clears throat> cleaned correctly. All right, let's try that again, guys. If I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know because I'm not a pro at this stuff. There we go. Picked up beautifully. I'm just going to eliminate what I don't want. The circle around the end didn't come out perfect, but for swatch purposes, it's going to have to be enough for today. There we go. That's really nice. I do have a lot of ideas running through my head right now, so which is good. Ideas are good. Um, but if you'd like to see... Some nail art from this plate. This is solely just a review video today, but if you'd like to see some, sorry guys, if you'd like to see some nail art with this specific plate, then let me know because I'll be more than happy to do that. And I also have a lot of ideas anyways, so I think a reverse stamping video with this plate will be coming very, very soon. So look out for that. Alright, like I said, I wanted to try and swatch the little planets first. What planets they are, don't know. If they're in our, our universe, I have even, I don't know, I have no idea. Beautiful, beautiful image. Beautiful transfer. Let's go ahead and get that down. Look at that. Oops, sorry guys, bumped you. Cute, right? Alright, let's try for one more planet here. It looks like Saturn to me. I don't know if it's Saturn or what it is. Beautiful transfer. Darn near perfect. Not to toot my own horn. This is the really crucial part. Line it up. That's what I said what happens to, <laughs> to my stamper. Sometimes that happens or sometimes the I'll, you know, come up with it and the stamp will get stuck like that. So, but, I mean, it happens. I don't know. I don't know why that happens. I gotta get... I ha I do have other stampers. I'm just trying to get used to this one. Now, I don't know if this... If this stamper head is too small or what goes on. But you guys saw that what just happened there. So, and excuse my nails because I need to do them. But... Look what we have here. This is super cute. Wouldn't that be so cute in a reverse stamp? Or colorful? That's what I should have did. I should have did them colorful. Cute! Comment down below if you like these images so far. Those planets would look really cool on a background just like this. So instead of swatching it on this stick I probably should have swatched it on something with a background that looked like this but that's okay guys for next time I got you I got some ideas coming along so let's go ahead and keep swatching next guys I think I'm gonna go for this image right in there that big image kinda looks like a upside down heart at the top let's see how well this guy picks up Put down your polish, really quickly swipe. 
Pick up your image. Bow. Look how beautiful that bad boy is. Okay, and so since it's not a full image, I think that I'm going to do it this way and quickly hurry up. Look at that. Didn't come out perfect, but it still came out kind of cool. Not perfect, guys, but it kind of, you know, it's a cool image. Kind of cool. Next image. I think for the next image, I am going to try and go for this image here with the hand and the crystal so here I have a neon yellow pop stick ready to go let's get that polish on there and swipe it up grab our stamper we're gonna roll get that lovely little image there Remove what you don't want very, very quickly, and even quicker, get ready to stamp. Guys, I think I'm getting a hang on this, finally. Yes, 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 I'm so proud of myself. Very nice. Look at all the little lines at the top, how perfectly they came out. Very, very nice. Look at that hand. Awesome. Now, I think we're going to go for the image right next to it. Kind of looks like a half a moon with little, kind of little drips. I think that'll look cool with this image together. So, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to roll. Pick up that beautiful image. Very nice. Remove what I do not want. Get on camera here. Sorry guys if I'm not doing the best job, but I'm trying my best. Nice. Missed a little part right up there, but that's okay. Guys, there are so many amazing images on here that I don't think that I'm going to have time for the whole entire plate. So I would advise you to please, please, please purchase this plate if you can. I did uh, get these plates on Amazon. So definitely go ahead to Amazon and look for this collection of plates. Hijuba's plates, I think it came with a couple of plates together. So let's see if we can get one or two images more. I think I'm going to go for the feathers right up here there we go very nice okay, I want it in the corner here sorry my fingers in the way guys here we go the moon didn't come out perfect wasn't perfect, but that's okay. We gotta get a move on here. I think I'm gonna try to do a couple of these grasses. Or, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm even trying to say. A little weeds. I don't know. A little weeds waving in the wind. Just curious to see how these will stamp. Very nice. Just wanted a few at the bottom. Really cool. Kind of look like palm trees. I'm really loving this plate, guys. I'm going to flip this guy over, see what we have on the back, and try to get an image or two before we go here. Because I really want to go for this flower image right in here. So I'm going to use kind of like a multicolored popstick that I prepared. I know 
it's not a full image, but that's okay. And I think this image will, oops, sorry guys, I think this image would look really awesome in reverse stamp. So it's not a full image. It won't fit a, a really big nail like this, it'll fit a smaller nail. But I just wanted to see how that image would come out. Really cool. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This is, I'm going to just do one final swatch here of some leaves. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, comment down below. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time that I make a video. Excuse me. Another video. <laughs> See if we can get these leaves on here. Probably not perfectly, but we'll try. Here we go. Cute. Guys, I do have to say I like this plate. Definitely, um, I recommend this plate. It's super, super, super cute. I had a lot of fun swatching these images. I need to do my nails really badly, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed this plate as much as I did. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.